Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a one bearing spinner using 3 8 16 uh, hex nuts um, instead of as the counterweights instead of bearings. This will save you a lot of money and you can make a spinner for around 70 to 80 cents depending on uh, how cheap you can get the large hex nuts. There are links below in the YouTube video. Uh, where you can purchase them through Amazon if interested. I am using the 608ZZ bearings um, in these so it's important that you get that size for the dimensions that I'm about to give you. Alright so first I'm going to take a cylinder here and drag it to the middle somewhere in my, the middle of my work plane in Tinkercad and I'm going to adjust all the dimensions to 28 Okay, and then I'm going to change the height to 7. The reason I do that is because the bearing, the bearing is only 7 millimeters tall. I'm going to change the number of sides from 20 to 64 to give me that nice rounded look. Okay, so now we want to create the hole where the bearing is going to fit in. I have found that 22 and a quarter millimeters works best. You may want to make this first and then print it on your 3D printer and test it. My rule of thumb is I should have to use a rubber mallet to kind of lightly hammer it in there um, for the bearing to stay. I'm going to use my Command A or Control A on a Windows and I'm going to press um, letter L on my keyboard and make sure that this is aligned. Okay. My computer froze a little bit. Let me refresh this. Okay, let me try that again. L, and click here and here and make sure it's aligned. Then I'm going to do Command A again to select all and Command G to group it. So this is my bearing. Now I have my hole for my bearing. I'm going to do the same thing here again. Go back to my home view. And this time I'm going to make it 28 by 28 again, change the number of sides and the height to 7 millimeters. I'm going to get to the top view and I'm going to drag this over to where these connect where it's not bleeding into the hole there, but just enough. There. I'm going to do Control A or Command A and L again, make sure that it's aligned to the middle, which mine already is. So we're good there. I'm going to do the same thing with the cylinder. Except this time I'm going to make it 16 by 16. Now, the reason I do that is because the hex nut is uh, fits in there snugly. Again, I have to use a mallet. So I'm going to select both of these by using the shift key when I select them and hit L to align. And when you know I'm right in the middle there, so I'm going to click out of that, select them again, and command G. So now we have the making of our fidget spinner. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to drag a box over here. We want to make it 2 by 25 here. We can adjust that as we go. And again, it must be 7 millimeters tall. I want to drag this over to about the middle of the top and drag that down to the middle. There we go. And select it again. And notice that this one is shaded out. I aligned it. That means it's directly in the middle, or directly on the end. So now I'm going to hit Command D to duplicate. And then I'm gonna hold my Shift key down and drag it over. When you hold the Shift key down, it only allows it to go one plane at a time, either X or Y. So I wasn't able, I didn't move at all um, up and down, just east and west. Now I have that ready. Okay. So I'm going to do Command A again and Command G. And we have a um, place for our bearing now and a place for our large hex nut. Now is the kind of easy part here. We're just going to duplicate this. So we're going to select it, Command D, and then I'm going to use this right here. I'm going to move it now. We are going to use three of these. So the way I told my students was um, 360 degrees in a circle. So we have to divide that by three to get how many degrees we need to turn it. And 
the answer to that is 120. So we find here, we move it 120 degrees. Oop, went too far. Let me go back one degree. Okay, and then I'm going to drag it over to where it sits right on the other one. There we go. I'm gonna do the same again, Command D, and I'm going to drag it this time negative 120. Oh, and I'm having bad luck here. Just gonna move it one degree back. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to do Command A and Command G to group it all. And now we have our one bearing spinner with three large hex nuts, which you can print for about, I don't know, 70 cents. So now, why don't we take it into Cura? And uh, so I'm gonna export this as an STL file, everything in the design. There it is. We go down here to Cura. And the way I have my Cura set up, it'll actually tell us. So I'm gonna load the model file. And here's my one bearing spinner. And it's gonna cost 25 cents to print, okay? Um, 25 cents to print this plus another 50 cents for the bearing and about another 15 cents so you're looking at about 90 cents 90 cents to print this particular spinner and get it fully running I'd say that's a pretty good deal um, check the links below there's going to be a blog post on this and it'll give more information as well as links to purchase some of the different bearings that we use and the hex nuts that we use in this. Um, and check back for more videos. We'll be doing some other different custom spinners throughout the next couple weeks. Thanks for watching, guys.